<laughs> nine, eight. Come on, Sarah. Pull it out. And eight. Nine, eight, and eight for Julian. And Tim, the new Mrs. Father Dave. Tim was the last boy. What do we got for Tim? Number nine, number eight, and number seven. Okay, who wants to see these boys in their jobs? Who hopes they're fluffed? I know I do. I'm nice and close. <laughs> Has anyone seen Ray in the last five minutes? Is Ray at the back fucking? <laughs> What's going on, Ray? All right. Let's bring these boys out and get them to show some flesh. Same running order. Let's start with Hayden. Come on, Hayden. Give it up for Hayden. He's out here in his undies in front of thousands of people. Well, he will be shortly. He's in a very sexy club cruise. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Dave, this is... It's been a while since that's, that's real. real. This is what... Yeah, they've got it now. Now the judges hold up scorecards. Hey, that went from triple... Hey, mate, you've done well. You should take your clothes off more often. You just um, gained a hell of a lot of points there. You were all on sevens before. You've done well. Take them off more often. Do you think we need to walk around in his undies more often? Should we keep him on stage? Yeah, let's, yeah, let's not get rid of him. We'll just keep him over here. We'll just keep him. If he takes a little step back... And we'll bring out Wayne. Come on, Wayne. Let's give it up for Wayne, guys. He's going to ever so seductively remove that towel. Oh, you want to see that from this angle? Don't look at me, love. Work them and judges. Do we like Wayne? Yes. Wayne, tell us about your tattoo. What's going on here? I'm just... I'm just making sure I notice the tattoo. You're very patriotic, yeah. too. You are very patriotic. What's going on there? Um, oh, I'm a masters for Australia. Oh, yeah. Australia, it's going to be Oh, congratulations. But don't they usually get it on their chest? I'm not sure. It's, it's the flopper for the Australian swimming team. Take a step back, Wayne. Let's bring up Douglas. And our very heartfelt thanks to Club Cruise for the towels and to exist for the undies that these boys are wearing today. Douglas, show us your stuff. Come on, give it up for him. Is that all real? I'm sorry, I've been watching your face every time they take their towels off and you're hilarious. That one. He's got a name, that's Cameron. Hello, Cameron. I'm looking for entertainment here, but I'm sorry, but your face is priceless. Do you want to come up and do it? Oh, do you want to play with Douglas? Well, I'm just noticing that everyone, everyone positions their old fella in a different way. And can I just ask, uh, what, what makes you position your old fella in the certain way that you position him? Front and centre, that's the best way. Front and centre. <laughs> Oh, this is you a better. member of the Labour Party? Let's, let's get Douglas to take a step back. Josh, are you ready? Come on out, let's hear it for Josh. Hello, Josh. Josh, have you even wearing your undies? Oh, Josh has he got some pants. He's supposed to be wearing undies. Oh, no, there they are. No, that's supposed Very to be long. sexy. Put the towel back on and take it off properly. Yeah. Is that meant to, like, strip for you? Take it all off. That's better. Alright. Now tell me, it. tell me, Josh, is that usually what you do when you get home with, um, I'm assuming you're gay, is that wrong? Correct. Are you okay? That's good. You can't assume these things nowadays. Are you gay, Dave? Uh, yeah, rumour has it. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot my line of question. Is yeah, it a way to take a towel off when you get home? Oh, yeah. yeah, now tell me, when you get home with a chap, are you just, do you do that? Do you just whip it all off and straight into it and wham bam and hurry? Totally, totally. We've had a few, a few guesses from the crowd. Are they your exes who have been disappointed? Possibly. Are uh, five out of six exes satisfied? <laughs> Any of them out there? Yep, there they go. Take a step back. Julian, are you ready? Come on forward. Let's give it up for Julian, guys. He's already taken off the aviators. He's halfway there. Don't smile at me. Smile. That was cute. Smile at them. Smile at they. Oh, we've, look at us, we've both got things around our necks. Yes, they're not quite filled in like but let's hope they'll later, hey? Get his towel off, Dave. So inappropriate! This is what I have to do with my teeth. you got to hate this job. No, uh, I'm Yeah, whip your teeth, go on, whip your teeth. Last year's photo was bad enough, I'm just going to do this. 
says Julian. Do we like Julian? Julian, um, can you? Why is there so many no's coming from the centre? He's the yeah. first one that's dressed that way. Yeah, now what's going on? Why, why are we positioned going that way? Size. <laughs> the two exist only just don't accommodate? Not really. Really? Oh. Look at all the Fabulous I have nothing to say after that, I have nothing to say. Take a step back, Julian. Oh, this side. You'll take the tail off this one with your teeth, won't you? Tim, come on out. Tim, let's hear it for Tim. Hey, is there an ammo in the audience? Because I'm about to faint. Hello, Tim, how are you? Are you going to take that tail off with your teeth, Dave? Oh, God. Dave, take this towel off with his team. They are your fans. This is your fan club. Come on. I, I wanted to say this for so long. On your knees, Dave. <laughs> what you do for charity? Hey, can we just say, this is great that you're all here for a start. A little bit serious, I know. First time I've ever been serious at this height looking at a man, but um... <laughs> Everyone, thanks for coming along. It's fantastic you're here to support an awesome charity. I'm not, I'm not trying to get out of this. Who does charity speeches on their knees in front of a man like this? It's been a while, I'm nervous. The things we will do to raise money for veritable charities. There we go, it's Tim. Thank you, Dave. Could we have... Two scores, judges, one for Tim and one for Dave's technique. <laughs> right, we've got to get a winner now. A winner? How can you do that? So, Rick, what were you giving me? Do we have a winner yet? The first ten I've ever got. I don't think we do. We're going to have to fill it. We don't have a winner yet. They're still adding up scores. We've got to Shall we bring them forward for a crowd cheer? Yeah, can we get one by one? We want a bit of a crowd response here because we're not too sure what you people think. Because I don't really, I, I've got a person who agrees with judges. I've always had a running with judges. I think they're all wankers. But that's just me, quietly. So we want a bit of a crowd response. And we want to hear you all. Really let the boys know what you think of them. We're going to start with um, Hayden. Christmas. Come on, Hayden, come to the front. This is Hayden. Is that the best you can do for Hayden? Hey, hey, do you ever get um? Do you ever get get uh, mistaken for that Wally Lewis's son, the one in Home and Away? No, no. Okay. <laughs> that went everywhere, didn't it? That went down like a damn balloon. That was brilliant. Wayne, come forward. Can you flex those things? Heck, things. Can you flex them, Wayne? I have to do this. You're missing the best bit. How's that side of Wayne? That side of the room is all tops. Alright, take a step back. You want to bring out Douglas? Oh, Douglas Fairbanks.